Hello and welcome to Stallion TV at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College. I'm Colin Vickers, here with your Stallion News for February 16, 2017. We asked ABAC students a very hot button issue this week. Do you think people should be able to carry arms on campus? Mm, okay. Um, I believe that teachers and students should, should definitely uh, bring their weapons to school. Um, I know, I know that, it's, that it's like a, a kind of a kind of like outrageous response, but um, having having weapons on school and having weapons on campus um, is is one way, in my opinion, a um, uh, self uh, self defense um, in case if something ever happens. Um, but here here, if you have any kind of weapon here at school here on campus. Um, I, I, I think that it should that it should be it should be uh, um, out of sight, uh, but just just put in your in your in your pocket. Maybe maybe it'd be in your pocket or in a side in a side case. Um, but I, I really I really do think uh, students should have should have some some kind of some kind of self defense weapon or self defense uh, uh, tool that they can, that they can use uh, in those kinds of situations. I, uh, you should be able to carry guns on campus, um, numerous reasons, one reason being personal safety and if there's a, per se a mass shooting or uh, a uh, threat with a big, say, uh, say uh, numerous, numerous um, ammunition, you can save more than one person. Uh, and for nothing else, just like you're saying, personal safety is, you know, save yourself in the process. So I definitely am a firm believer in the Second Amendment and the right to carry arms. However, I do believe that when you bring guns to college campuses, it does get a little bit more complicated. But if we're going to allow people, students, teachers, staff to carry guns, then definitely it needs to be, you know, kept in their apartment. Um, commuter students can keep them in their cars, things like that. There seems to be a majority pro-Second Amendment consensus on campus. This is a very important issue that could change the future of college campuses. Coming up on the calendar, tonight the One Sound, One Community event will be held on Lakeside Lawn starting at 6. Tomorrow, Friday 17th, an evening of One Acts will be held at the Chapel of All Faiths at 7 p.m. That's it for this edition of Stallion TV. I'm Colin Vickers. Thanks for watching.